ஜூலை எயிட் இந்தியன் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் டுடேஸ் நியூஸ் ஆர்டிக்கல் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆர்டிக்கல் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஜெய்சங்கர் மீட்ஸ் வாங்கி கால்ஸ் ஃபார் இயர்லி ரெசல்யூஷன் ஆஃப் எல்ஏ சீரோ யூ ஹாவ் டு சி திஸ் ஆர்டிக்கல் இன் ரிலேஷன் டு ஜிஎஸ் டூ பேப்பர் தட் இஸ் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் பொலிட்டிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் பஞ்சாயத் ராஜ் அண்ட் பப்ளிக் பாலிசி ரைட் இஷ்யூஸஸ் வாட் ஆர் த அவுட் கம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரீசன்ட் மீட்டிங்ஸ் பிட்வீன் இந்தியா அண்ட் சைனீஸ் மினிஸ்டர் யூ ஹாவ் டு நோ நோ அபவுட் த லைன் ஆஃப் ஆக்சுவல் கண்ட்ரோல் இஷ்யூஸஸ் அலாங் த லைன் ஆஃப் ஆக்சுவல் கண்ட்ரோல் இன் ஈஸ்டர்ன் லடாக் அண்ட் வாட் லைஸ் அஹெட் லெட் அ சீ த ஆர்டிகல் இன் டீடெயில் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் அஃபேர்ஸ் மினிஸ்டர் எம் எஸ் ஜெய்சங்கர் மேட் த சைனீஸ் ஃபாரின் மினிஸ்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்டேட் கவுன்சிலர் வாங்கி இன் பேலி ஆன் தேர்ஸ்டே அண்ட் த சைட் லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபாரின் மினிஸ்டர்ஸ் மீட்டிங் கால் ஃபார் ஏர்லி ரெசல்யூஷன் ஃபார் ஆல் அவுட் ஸ்டாண்டிங் இஷ்யூஸஸ் அலாங் த லைன் ஆஃப் ஆக்சுவல் கண்ட்ரோல் இன் ஈஸ்டர்ன் லடாக் that india china relation is best served by observing the three mutual mutual respect mutual sensitivity uh, and mutual interest coming on back of prime minister narendra modi's phone call to the dalai lama and action on chinese films india's emphasis on three mutuals that is respect sensitivity and interest holds diplomatic significance let us continue this article here uh, that is uh, la is recalling the disengagement as achieved in the some friction areas he reiterated the need to sustain the momentum to complete the disengagement um, from all the remaining areas to restore the peace tranquility in the border areas he affirmed the importance of fully abiding by bilateral agreements and protocols and understanding the reach between the two ministers during the previous conversation uh, the reviewed uh, the progress of some key issues is discussed then including the return of uh, students that is indian students to china he stressed the need for expediting the process and facilitating the return of students on an early date ministry of external affairs minister said adding wang yi appreciated india support during china's brics chairship this year and assured china's support of india's upcoming g20 and shanghai cooperation organization presidency next article is all about prime minister in varanasi era of forcing any anything on youths has ended Uh, this article is related to gs2 polity and governance in constitution political system panchayat raj public policy and right issues you have to know what is national education policy implementation uh, implementation status objectives and significance this article talks about let us see in detail prime minister narendra modi on thursday said they are forcing anything on youth without understanding them and their inspiration has long gone prime minister remarks come in the wake of protest against the centers agnipath recruitment scheme for the centers countries armed force he said the earlier schools college and books decided in the uh, which direction students need to move ahead but in the introduction of national education policy our responsibility towards our youth has been increased um, we need to constantly motivate youths about their dreams and understand their minds and their aspiration era era of forcing anything on them without understanding them has gone Uh, to take education out of narrow thinking and connect it with the modern ideas of the 21st century has never dearth of ele- intellect and talents in our country however the education system created by Brit- britishers was ne- never part of indian ethos uh, prime minister said uh, the entire focus of the national education policy is to make children skilled as per their talents and their choices today are displaying a very advanced degree of talents and we need to prepare to help and harness their talents next article center to states don't tamper with the name of child protection scheme and you, this is the article is related to gs to polity and governance you have to know what is mission vatsalya and features and objectives let us see this article in detail in order to access center funds and benefits under mission vatsalya an umbrella scheme for child protection services in the country um um in, in order to access these the states will have to return their official name as given by center women and child development ministry mandated in the guidelines it released on thursday before 2009 uh, three schemes were being implemented under women and child development ministry of children in need of protection the program for juvenile justice of children in need of care and protection and children in conflict with law and integrated program for the street ch- children and the scheme for assistance of uh, to the home for children and these are clapped in 2010 into a single scheme called integrated child protection scheme it was then renamed as child protection services scheme in 2017 again as mission vatsalya in 2021 and 22 it is implemented as centrally sponsored scheme in partnership with the state government and union territory administration with a fund sharing pattern in the ratio of 60 is to 40 however for the eight states in the northeast as well as himachal pradesh uttarakhand union territories of jammu and kashmir center and union territories of states a share will be 90 is to 10 center will cover the whole cost in union territory without legislature according to the ministry delhi next article that we are moving into is all about 
ஹைகோர்ட் ஸ்டேஸ் சிஐசி ஆர்டர் ஆன் ரிலீசிங் இன்ஃபோ அபவுட் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் கேர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் பிஎம் கேர்ஸ் திஸ் ஆர்டிகிள் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஜிஎஸ் டூ பாலிட்டி அண்ட் கவர்னன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் யூ ஹாவ் டு நோ அபவுட் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர்ஸ் சிட்டிசன்ஸ் அசிஸ்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிலீஃப் இன்ஸ் எமர்ஜென்சி சுச்சுவேஷன் ஃபண்ட் தட் இஸ் பிஎம் கேர்ஸ் ரேஷனல் பிஹைண்ட் கன்ஸ்டியூட்டிங் திஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு நோ Okay, let us see this article in detail. Delhi High Court on Thursday states a single Central Information Commission ordering, order directing the Information Department to provide copies of all documents submitted by uh, Prime Minister Kerr's fund by while applying for exemptions under the Income Tax Act and file noting granting the approval. Uh, the question whether PM Kerr's fund is a public authority is uh, currently pending before a division bench of the court. Next to article is at the right rate. In this article is related to GS3 economy. You have to know what, how, um, uh, what to read us. Um, how emerging markets including India are facing the outflow of FPIs as US Fed, uh, Federal Reserve tightens repercussions. And know, know about the policy of RBI is to smoothen the volatility and what, what more needs to be done in this context. Next to article. Next article is their fair share. This article is related to GS2 polity and governance. What you need to know and study is what are the provisions under the freshly issued guidelines of CCPA that is Central Consumer Production Authority, focus areas, objectives and needs, key analysis and way forward. Um, next to article... Uh, Next to article is subcategorization of OBC. This article is related to GS2. Uh, in this article, you need to know what is subcategorization of OBC and also know about Rohini Commission and its mandate and what progresses has it made so far. Let us see the article in detail. Uh, on Wednesday, Centre has extended the tenure of Commission to examine the subcategorization of OBC. The idea is to create the subcategories within the large group of OBC for the purpose of reservation. OBC are granted 27% reservation in jobs and education under central government. This has been a legal debate for other reservation categories too. In September last year, Constitutional Bench of Supreme Court has reopened the debate on subcategorization of SSC and ST for reservation. For OBC, the debate arises out of the perception that only a few affluent communities among over 2,600 included in the central list of OBC have secured a major part of the 27 percentage reservation, ensure equitable distribution of representation among all OBC communities. Uh, what is the Commission's brief? To examine the extent of inequitable distribution of benefits of reservation among the caste or communities included in the broad category of OBC, with reference to such classes included in the central list. To work out the mechanism, criteria, norms and parameters in a scientific approach for subcategorization within such OBCs. What progress has it made so far? The Commission wrote that it is ready with the draft report on OBS uh, subcategorization. Among the challenges it has faced, one has been the absence of data for the population of various communities to compare with their representation in the jobs and admissions. December 12, 2018, requesting for an appropriate budget provision for proposed in All India sur Survey for an estimate of the cat cast wise. Uh, population of OBCs. On August 31, 2018, Home Minister Rajnath Singh had announced that in a census 2021, data of OBC will be uh, will also be collected, but the, since then, government has been silent on this, whereas uh, groups of OBC have been demanding enumeration of OBCs in the census. 97% of all jobs and educational seats have go, uh, gone to 25% of all subcast classification as OG, OOBC. 24.95% of these jobs and seats have gone to just 10 OBC communities. And 983 OBC communities, 37% of total have zero representation in jobs and educational institutions. 994 OBC subcast have the total representation of only 2.68% in recruitment and admissions. Next article is uh, related to GS3 environment, that is Dredgeo. Uh, what is a Dredgeo? What are the different types of Dredgeos? Where do Dredgeos usually occur? You need to know. Let us see this article in detail. US states of Nebraska, uh, Minnesota and Illinois were hit by a storm system call, called it Dredgeo on Tuesday. Uh, sky uh, turned the sky a bright shade of, bright shade of green. Dredgeo uh, a widespread long-lived straight-line windstorm that is associated with a band of rapidly moving showers or thunderstorm. The name comes from the Spanish word La Drecha, straight, uh, which means straight, unlike a tornado or cyclone. Winds in a straight-line storms have no rotational motion. For a storm to be classified as a derecho, it must have the wind gusts gust of at least 93 km per hour and a wind damage swath extending more than 400 km. Severe thunderstorms can result in a green sky due to light interaction with a huge amount of water. Um, what are they hold? This is what the article is all about. 
Next article is all about how a cancer drug uh, works in COVID-19 patients. Huh? This article is related to GS3 technology. What you have to know is what are the findings of newly published phase 3 study for the drugs uh, Sabizamblin. What did the study look at and how? What are the key findings on mortality reduction among hospitalized COVID-19 patients? Huh? Let us see this article in detail. The results of phase 3 trial with the drug Sabizamblin uh, initiated, uh, in initially developed to fight cancer have shown its... Uh, Cuts risk of death by about four one fourth in the patients hospitalized with a moderate to severe COVID-19. Sabi Sabi Zublin uh, works by targeting a process called um, microtubule trafficking and has a uh, both dual anti-inflammatory and antiviral activity. Uh, re resistant prostate cancer and triple negative breast cancer resistant to anthracyclines. Uh, this is what the article talks about. Next article is all about RBA easing norms may arrest outflow from NRE account. This article is related to GS3 economy. You have to know about RBA's India's decision. RBA's uh, decision to relax the norms governing the currency foreign uh, uh, sorry foreign currency non-resident bank that is FCNR and non-resident um, external deposit and objectives and repercussions. Let us see this article in detail. Uh, Non-resident uh, Indian deposit which showed a decline in the financial year 2021-2022 are expected to pick up in the coming months as the Reserve Bank decision to relax the norms governing the foreign currency non-resident bank and non-resident external deposit. Interest rates on NRE deposits are expected to um, that is non-resident uh, non-resident external deposit are expected to rise in the wake of rba measures total nra deposits have declined to uh, declined and the removal of crr and slr uh, and interest rate capping norms for incremental nra deposits in the fcnrb and nre deposit uh, term deposit will help in the reduction of cost of the uh, funds and allow the bank offer higher yields to the consumers. NRI can open a NRI account introduced in 1970 with a fund remitted to India through a bank, bank abroad. An NRI rupee account may be opened a current saving or temp term deposit. With the lower cash reserve requirements, bank will have the room to raise the landed cost of NRI FCNR accounts to draw the fresh funds and it means bank will have more NRIs at their disposal for lending activities and NRIs can open a NRI introduced in 1970 with the fund remitted to India through a bank abroad. Mm, NRE deposits without reference to the current regulations on interest rates with the effect from July 7, 2022. This relaxation will be available for the period up to October 31, 2022. And that's all for today. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section. If you like the video, please do share, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.